Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. The first Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday just 15 days away. Our preview continues tonight as we take a look at the St. John's Titans. The St. John's Titans finished last year strong. After beginning the year at 1-5, and five, the Titans finished the regular season on a four-game win streak. It was just a matter of us doing a few things, um, you know, a few little things. We were in, in the process of putting in a new offense, uh, so we had to work the kinks out of that as well. And once we did that, I think we started rolling. The Titans are also continuing last year's offensive change to a more run-heavy attack. Receiver Eric Brooks says just because the focus is on the ground doesn't mean he won't be ready when they call his number. Um, I just stay ready for whenever we do pass the ball. Uh, I'm really glad for Aaron, our running back. He's a great guy. And uh, our line to work harder than we usually have because they have to for the running game. This year, St. John's is hoping to earn some wins earlier in the year. They'll be led by Carson Coleman on the offensive line. We just hope to go out and win every game. Just pound the ball, score touchdowns, have our defense do what they do, and that's really it. The Titans will also be making a change in conference, heading up to the Detroit Catholic League. Head coach Larry McDaniel says the new league gives kids a chance at even more exposure. It's an opportunity for our kids to get uh, exposure in another media market, actually in one of the major national media markets. So um, anytime you get that opportunity and you do well, you know, it just brings good things for your kids. The Titans open their season at home against Dublin Kaufman.